40 miles in one day. I'm really just hobbling along. I'm just not making much progress. I'm going so slowly. Hobbling. Everything hurts. Okay, so I'm running down the US-1 and I see this. Ice cream and it looks like the busiest shop. There's like nothing open down here. There's nothing open down here. And this is all, it says like homemade, whatever. So I go in and I'm like, hey, I'm running to California. I, I said my thing. Well, I ran from Miami Beach. Yeah. Oh. And, yeah. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna keep running to California. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So part of the adventure is I'm seeing if I can do it unsupported, but seeing who might help along the way. So okay. like, it makes for a fun part of the story. Like, I can give you a kid scoop. Alrighty. Ready for this? Whoa, that's a big <laughs> I thought it's like a kid scoop so tiny. Thank you. And I got this. It's incredible. Let me step into the light. Okay. This is a chocolate sorbet. I didn't even know they can make sorbet chocolate. Kid size. It's amazing. Super chocolatey, super cool. <laughs> Just what I need right now. I'm like ducking down so I'm in the camera. My hips feel good. It's fun to be out at night. You know what, I wonder if it hurts more because it's hot. I know I said that already, but super cool at night. And now I got free ice cream. Well, well not ice cream, sorbet. Mm. This is amazing. Thank you. He's got the whole band on here. I saw you today at Publix. Oh really? This guy today bought a tomato and an avocado. And then I put it in my Taco Bell. You know what I did? I bought like the cheapest bean burritos. Yeah. And I, like, I, I like, put avocado and like, tomato. Who is this guy? But then I saw this. I'm like, he's running somewhere. This is my house. People are like, what is that? I'm like, it's everything. Do you like, do you just like sleep wherever? Like you just pop yeah. wherever? Like today I ran from West Palm Beach. Now I'm gonna just keep going and go to what is it called? Palm City. Oh, okay, Palm City. Yeah, that's like 45 like, minute drive from here. So it's, it's like, like 40 like, miles in one day. Yes, I it can't is. Run Hollywood sign, California. You should go to Portland, Oregon. It's that's way cool. Right. I have. I've been there. In the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's great. So it's all like fruit palace. What are you doing? You're running, running in California. What? Wow. Where did you start? It's a bad idea. Miami Beach. Oh, okay. I've run this one. You're most of the way there. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There <laughs> oh, alrighty then. I'm feeling really good after the chocolate sorbet and the conversation, the encouraging, like people going, wow, that's amazing. Whoa. Like, I forget how inspiring it is when I'm grimacing and like urgh, struggling. They said, you're living your dream. And I was like, yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of hurts. But yeah, I guess there's nothing I'd rather be doing. The Rangers, what is this? The Rangers office? Ranger Station. Ranger Station. You got it. Thank you to the Rangers of what park is Jonathan, this? Jonathan Dickinson. Jonathan Dickinson Park. I'm gonna keep going. How do you not get eaten by mosquitoes? There's so many mosquitoes. You do, you get eaten by mosquitoes. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, I'm yes. just like, ah. That's why I don't dress like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, dodge I'm gonna keep me. moving then. Get dodging skeeters. Yeah. Well, thank you for the water. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> they were cool. There's like nothing out here in this road in the dark except mosquitoes and no water. I feel like while spraying myself, they're just eating me anyway. They're just laughing at me. 
laughing at my lemon. Ha <laughs> ha You think lemon will stop us? Keep moving, escape the skeeters. Escape. Escape. Bye then, guys. All right, you be safe, okay? See ya, thank you. If you ever make it, send us a postcard. You'll be on it in the next few days. I'll be looking for it. You'll be there. I hope you make it. Thank you. Bye. Okay, this is a good sign, <laughs> it's a good sign, literally. <sighs> I'm in the moonlight on the US-1, crawling along, shuffling like a granddad. It hurts less when I shuffle, more when I walk. My hips sort of give way, <sighs> I wanna keep moving. But that's a good sign. That means I'm, I'm near to a pit stop. I can maybe stop for water again. I can get off the US-1 onto a better beach side road. This is just a highway. It's just a dark, empty, busy cars highway. Hobie Sound! And there's a bullet hole in the sign there. That's encouraging. <laughs> so, I'm really just hobbling along. Hobbling. I can kind of run like this. <laughs> this isn't really running, is it? It's slightly faster than walking, and it seems to be a little bit better on the hips. Uh, and when I walk, it really is painful on my hips. Uh, I'm gonna join this A1. A Get off this main highway. This should be a bit quieter. I feel like I'm hoping to find some energy. Gatorade or something, I'd totally go for that right now. I'll take any sugar I can get. I do have raisins with me, but I would just like a cool drink. Ah, hobble on. I just feel like, rather than stop, I'm gonna keep hobbling because I know when I get there I can rest. Bridge Road. Just absolutely nothing is open. I was hoping for a mosquito-free zone to power up my power bank, wire up the bomb. Hi there. <laughs> so I'm on a pretty nice road. It's peaceful enough, like one car every five minutes and I'm blessed that the power bank and the phone is working well I've got my headphones 
because this speaker has run out of power. I'm just not making much progress. I'm going so slowly, like a tortoise race, and there's no running going on. It is just walking. There's no way I can run with the belt around my shoulders like this, but it's certainly taken the pressure off my hips, so that's good. It's a real struggle. I don't think I want to do this many miles again. And I'm thinking there's things I can remove from the belt, but I might only save a kilo or two. It's not gonna ever dramatically change. It's always gonna be heavy. And there's a point where it's comfortable. It's 10, maybe 15 miles. It gets uncomfortable, 15 to 20, 20 to 30, and right now I'm doing 30 to 40, which is just too much. It's now past midnight, and I've been on the move since 6 a.m., except for the time where I stopped to eat Taco Bell, and I suppose a little bit of ice cream stuff chocolate sorbet, it was lovely. But really I've been on the move all day. <sighs> For 24 hours. 40 miles in 24 hours. I mean, I haven't done it yet. I'm just pushing on like I'm gonna get it done. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, monkeys. What's up? I have found the Hobie Soccer Club. Toilets. So I've had a drink. Boom. And then I was almost gonna leave and you know, just stumbling on, hobbling, and I thought, I wonder if the door works. And I'm like, wow, Voom. straight in there. <sighs> right? Now I'm locked in here. I've looked around. I'm like, is there mosquitoes? Like, wow. It's a mosquito free zone. Oh, I could have peace in here. And I could have some rest. Just to sit down. I'm going to sit on the toilet. <laughs> oh, just to rest my body. Everything it hurts. The belt on my shoulders puts then strain on my back. Like, I have to hold my core strong, which is good practice, good, uh, you know, but it's getting tiring. My feet are beginning to hurt, like just the impact of so many hours, of so many miles. So you know what I'm thinking, don't you? This, oh, oh, there's a mosquito. I was just about to say this could be my bed, but I've just, I heard it, I saw it, it was right here. Where are you? I can just lay on the floor here and just crash out. It would be lovely if I had the air mattress at this point, I don't have it anymore. That would be a bit of padding. I suppose I could lay on my sleeping bag. There was definitely a mosquito. Where are you? I will get you. Let's see what progress I can make tomorrow. I'm not gonna get very far. Right now I'm going so slow. I'm better to rest. There! I got it. It was munching my back. This may seem like, ugh, sleeping in the toilets, really? But it's luxury, I've got my shoes off, airing my feet out. I can just turn the light off. I've stuffed the door so no bugs and mosquitoes and whatever creepy crawlies can get me. And then I've got my air pillow, which is a new one, which it's more solid. I've put down the Nordisk footprint 
which is a, you know, it goes underneath the tent. So that's keeping everything kind of clean because it always goes on the ground anyway. Those are the little treats for when I wake up. Crystallized ginger. That'll be a nice surprise. Give me some energy. Uh, I've got my earthing sheet, which I'm just going to lay over me. Not that I'm going to be cold, but it's just nice to think I've got a sheet. It's a luxury. And then, of course, my trusty Om Mountain Raid, the 1.6, which is much more warmer, thicker, and hence more expensive. Uh, oh, my hips. I'm gonna love this hard floor, but this sleeping bag is giving me some comfort. Ooh, oh, I could roll around in here with the tennis ball too. Maybe I'd do that in the morning. I don't think I wanna do it now. Of course, the luxury is if I need to pee in the night, I'm in a toilet. I can put this over me a little bit. Although it's so hot anyway, I don't really need it, but I feel like I'm in bed. I've got this, that's actually my tent with my hoodie wrapped around it to give it some kind of cushioning. Yeah, I can just do whatever, I just have as many pillows as possible. And I'm staying clean, even though I'm in a toilet, as clean as possible. It doesn't like stink of piss in here or anything. It's my best option, I'm happy. Don't feel bad for me, oh, he's sleeping in the toilet. This was a great discovery, I'm so happy it's unlocked. And I'm not gonna set an alarm. I'm going to sleep. Let's turn the light out. See you in the morning. And let's see. Ooh. How is my legs, hips, body feeling tomorrow? Probably not any better. If anything, probably a bit seized up. But at least rested. And I can make up the rest of the miles. Maybe I can even run tomorrow. I just... It's so far, I'm not even halfway. The next point I'm trying to get to, I haven't even got halfway there yet. So I'm not gonna walk all night. It's like one in the morning now. That's ridiculous to walk until five, six, seven in the morning with no sleep. That's just dumb. Now I found this, it's super dumb. And I killed a couple mosquitoes no more seem to be coming in. I can't see any, hear any. They would be coming to me like a magnet. So I think we're pretty safe. <sighs> oh, I could spray the lemon stuff. I'm gonna do that just to be sure. I'm gonna spray myself down and then turn the light out. Maybe for dramatic effect, I'll turn the light out now. Peace. Ooh, oh, fruit. Night night. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs>